Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk to you about my illustration process. I've just recently been spending more and more time in trying to develop an illustration process and researching what type of materials and styles I would like to incorporate. And this seemed to be working quite well, for me at least. Although uh, there's still plenty to be improved, I'm quite pleased with the results. The first thing that I do is sketching very, very lightly with uh, a colored pencil, which happens to be erasable. This comes from Prismacolor, it's uh, the Collie Erase brand, if I'm correct. Happy with the sketch, the second step is usually to block off the negative side, so the part of the painting that I want to keep white. To do so I'm using a masking fluid from Windsor & Newton. It's not at the best because of course it's white and it's very difficult to lay down precisely on paper but it's the only thing I could find in my local art supply shop. You can see that I use a toothpick to help me be more precise. I usually then lay down a flat wash of watercolor using some neutral tint that is formed with the colors that I'll be using later on in the painting. Mixing here, for example, a sap green with a sepia brown and a little bit of gray. I am not good with uh, washes of paint uh, as my color seemed to be always very streaky. So a technique that I found works quite well is to understand the shape and tackle them one by one so that at least I don't have many overlaps or many streaks. It's quite important that I keep a flat wash because this is only done to keep the next part of the painting more consistent and not show any unwanted gap or confusing overlay of colors. When I'm happy with that, of course, fully dry, I start adding the colors within the shapes of my illustration. I have decided, or better, I have got the practice of being quite flat with my illustration style, which is different from my fine art type of painting. Flat meaning, again, tackling or choosing to paint uh, shape by shape without being too mindful of uh, respecting the likeness of the nature or being too precise to their photographical nature. Actually, the full illustration here doesn't come from a photo, but it's something that I made up in my mind for this video. So, as you can see, there's no really any rules here. Another suggestion that uh, I have, but uh, um, it's uh, a practice that I'm using, is to keep the pulp really limited. Here I would use probably three or four colors all together. And mixing these colors carefully chosen, I could have uh, quite a large varieties of tint 
and shades and hues, which makes the whole illustration come together quite beautifully. And more than that, quite consistently, which I think is quite important. I'm going to stop rambling now and I will leave you to the rest of the painting. Once I remove the masking fluid, I just would work with some pencils to get some more details in. And that is basically it. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.